fast food. Take this camera help. Wee! No, no running all over me. Get yours. No, nope. you gonna pick yours? You want that? You get yours. You can watch. Come here, buddy. This one's probably a little confusing to them because the hole I'm using is very narrow. I've never even done this before with these this group right here. So they're all just having a good time. Right, this is what I'm afraid of because this is what they always like to do. And he's up. Uh huh. <laughs> he's rubbing the roach all over my shoulder. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I can't even get the camera on it, but there we go. Yeah, this is a little bit chaotic. Now, you look at you, you're just sitting there going, let me out. I'm gonna eat. So uh, when you're feeding roaches, gut load them, they have a fair, fairly good sized stomach, unlike a cricket. So if you feed them, uh, you know, let's say uh, dog food, good dog food, um, any kind of really good gut load, uh, certainly uh, something with even calcium in it and stuff like that, it's always a really good idea with D3. Um, oh, here he comes. Look at this. So he's already eaten his, he ate his roach and now he's coming back. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's funny, every time he jerks, the other one gets spooked. Because we definitely have a pecking order in here. Should I get that? <laughs> You're not even done with your roach. I guess it's almost time for a refill. Um, contrary to what people might think is that I like to often feed my monitors smaller food items. Uh, you know, certainly it's easier for them to overpower a smaller cricket, but even when I feed a fair sized monitor, a lot of times I'm feeding, I'm not feeding big giant rats or anything like that. I'm feeding smaller stuff. We got a feeding frenzy back there. And we got these guys. Come on camera, pull it together. Sorry, um, it's tough.
doing all this while holding the camera. You guys are getting it. What do you think, little guy? I'm just going to keep going on and on about captive bread, but uh, you, I could never do this with imported, and I've dealt with a lot of imported water monitors. We really just don't have that level of trust. I mean, this is, this is complete trust of me. They recognize me. These guys know my voice. They know the sight of me, the, the um, you know, obviously the taste and stuff like that, because these are very, very alert animals. You know, if anything, we don't even really understand all the senses that they have. But uh, these guys uh, trust me. I can take them out, relocate them, and feed them, and they're just they still go right at it. So I guess I'm just kind of proving all this different stuff. This is, uh, you know, is this really the result of of several generations into you know water monitors breeding them um possibly so i definitely am seeing improvements and i've also learned some really good tricks about socializing these guys and how to make them like this so um it's not a lot of us water monitor breeders out there and uh i might be doing some uh, different things than other people um but i guess you can judge that by what we're looking at here. You may notice, look how barren my cage is. Uh, I do this to keep them clean uh, so I can also interact with them. Interaction is everything. And uh, maybe that's why I have these guys there's uh you know you can sit here and rag on me because there's no plastic plants or anything like that and uh go ahead because i'm the one that's got these great little babies to stare at and I, I would say that they're very very happy and they're certainly very healthy Try it, get some roaches, gut load them, feed them. Hey, you guys, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. All right, I guess my video is long enough. Love your urban dinosaurs at feeding time.